Yes, what up folks, it's Alex here and it's that super funky, clean little intro that we're going to be taking a look at in this video today. Now we're going to do all of this without stepping foot into Fusion. We're going to do it all using the built-in effects from within the edit tab. Now we're doing it this way because A, it's a little bit easier and B, I want to show you how much great stuff you really can create if you just get creative with the built-in effects library. So, with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now I've already got some music set up on my timeline and I've added some markers, but that's purely for my own reference, so you can pretty much ignore that. Right, let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is to change the colour of the background. So what we're going to do is click on the Effects Library in the top left hand corner, come down to the Toolbox, we're going to go to Generators, and then we're going to select Solid Colour. Now if you've never used solid colour before, it's a really great generator that just allows you to change the colour of the background. So once that's on the timeline, give it a click, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, and at the very top you've got generator and then you've got colour. Give that a click, and then you can just choose any colour you want for this background colour to be. So like my intro, let's go with a dark sort of red, that will do, and we'll click on OK. So that's just our colour set, but it hasn't got any sort of animation yet. Now rather than doing things in Fusion, which can get complicated, we're just going to use the built-in standard video transitions. So we're going to click on video transitions, and you can just experiment with these, have some fun, play around, see what works. For this demo though, I'm going to scroll down to the shape area, and we're going to use triangle left and triangle right. So I'm going to grab triangle right, and I'm going to add this onto my solid colour like so. And then if I hit play, we've got a real simple colour wipe like so. Give that transition a click. Still within the inspector, you've got triangle right here and you've got all of the options. So you've got colour, border, feather and ease. Now the one we're going to look at first is the border. If I just increase that, I get a white border. If I want to change the colour of that border, I just go into colour and I can change the colour of it. Now you'll notice the animation is what we call linear. So that white line is moving across the screen at a constant speed. It doesn't accelerate or decelerate. You can change the ease to accelerate it or decelerate it, which just gives it a nicer look. So we're going to go to ease, change it from none to either in, out or in and out. It's your preference, have a play, see which one you prefer. In simple terms, in means that it will start off slowly and then speed up. So if you watch the white line, it starts off slow and then speeds up as it goes. Out is the opposite. It will start off fast and then slow down. While in and out will start off fast, slow in the middle and then fast out. So it's completely up to you which you want to choose. I'm happy with that, so we can go on to the next step. And all we want to do is make a duplicate of that solid color and then we're just gonna flip it so it goes the other way. So give the solid color a click hold the alt key on your keyboard and then just drag upwards to make an exact duplicate of what you've just done with the transition included first thing we're going to do change the color of this new solid color so i'm going to go with the orange i went for in the introduction and then what we want to do is just to move this over a little bit so we'll go with something like that so now our orange one follows our red one now at the moment they're both doing our triangle right so we need to change this one to be triangle left so I'm going to click on the video transition, still within the inspector, at the very top here you've got video transition style. And what this allows you to do is to change the transition style without affecting any of the settings you've already set. So I'm going to click that and I'm just going to change it to triangle left. And now we've got something that looks like this. So we've got this crisscross, white, it looks really cool. Now in the introduction I've got this second one to reveal some text. So that's our next step. So the first thing we need to do is to add our text. So within the toolbox, we're going to go to titles. We're going to grab a text and we're just going to put that directly above our second solid color like so. Let me just change the font to something better looking. And now we've got something like that. Now at the moment it just stays in place, which is not what we want. Fortunately, we've already done the hard work. So all we need to do is copy this transition onto the text to have it reveal our text. So again, same thing, click on the transition, hold down the Alt key, drag up, release, and now we've got a 
real nice little wipe does the solid color and reveals the text at the same time. Now I want to do that little effect where the background and the font swap colors. Again, this is really, really simple. All we're gonna do is highlight the text and the solid color. So I'm just gonna click and drag. I'm gonna do Control and B on my keyboard to do a quick cut. We're gonna to move to the next point where I want the colors to swap back again. I'm gonna do the same thing, like so. And then all we need to do in this middle chunk is to swap the colors over. So I'm gonna click on the text. In the inspector, I've got the color of the text here. Give that a click. And then I just need to change the color to match the background. Now there's a nice easy way to do that. You've got pick screen color here. Give that a click. You can then pick any color off the screen Click on OK, and we've just changed the font color to completely match the background, which is why it looks like it disappeared. If we then click on the solid color underneath, we're gonna change that to white. And there we go. So then if we just hit play from the beginning. Cool, starting to look really good. And then all I've done is basically use this exact same technique with different transitions to build up the entire introduction. So let me just show a couple of other ones which work really well. So what I'm going to do now is copy my text and my solid color. We're just going to move them up. So we've got some duplicates once again. We're going to move them over a little bit. I'm going to change the color of my solid color just to something else. Let's go with a, let's go with a purple. And we'll change the color of our font as well, just to keep things looking a bit different. Go with a yellow. Now this next one's a great one, it's called Barn Door. So we're gonna to go to our video transitions, we're gonna scroll down to the shape again, and we're gonna grab a barn door. Now I'm gonna just put that one on this solid color here. And then if we hit play, you can see it just wipes open like so. Same thing, give it a click, change the easing, we're gonna to go to in and out, and it looks something like that. Now there's another really great little trick here, if you add a border, you get the solid border like so, which looks cool. But if you go to the very beginning of the transition, you'll notice that the border just sort of suddenly appears like that, and it doesn't look great. So move your player to the very beginning of the transition, like so. Put the border to nothing, and then click this little icon here to add a keyframe. Then move your playhead to the end, and then increase that border just all the way to the top. Then what happens is, the border will start off really small, and as the transition goes on, it'll get thicker and thicker. And it's just a really nice look. So now if we hit play, it moves across like that, which looks cool. And then we can just copy that one. Again, holding the Alt key, copy it up to our text. Let me change this text to just put Alex. And now we've got this barn door, opens up to reveal Alex. Now, last little trick, Go to the end of that transition, select this wad up text, which as you can see, just gets overwritten, but it doesn't actually do anything fancy. So what we're gonna do, do a little cut there and we can delete this section. And then once again, just copy that barn door down. And now what happens is the wad up gets separated, moves across with the transition, while the background is also moving, reveals our new background and our new text. So from the beginning now, we've got something that looks like this. Which is starting to look really good. So now we're just going to do one more. All I'm going to do, I've got this text and this solid color here. So I'm just going to copy those up. So we've got another layer. And we're just going to delete these transitions off there for now so we can start afresh. And let's change this solid color to something else. Let's go with the let's go with black. And we'll change the text. Let's go with the red. Perfect. So now it just hops over like so. Let's change the Alex to be something else. So it's a little bit easier to identify. Perfect. Now the other one we're gonna look at is called an edge wipe. So still within the video transitions, scroll down to the wipe area and then you've got edge wipe and we're just gonna drag that onto our solid color like so. And it looks something like this. It just wipes up, nice and simple. Give it a click in the inspector Again, change the ease to whatever you want. We'll go with in and out again, because you can't really go wrong with in and out. You can add a border if you want to. You can also change the angle, so you can have it coming from the sides, from a corner, 
or just straight up. I'm going to keep it straight up for now. And then we're going to duplicate that up to the top. So it not, doesn't just reveal the solid color, it also wipes the text like so. And then if we hit play. There you go. Easy as that. Now in terms of using this introduction in all of your different videos, unfortunately it's not the easiest thing, but there is a nice quick way. Honestly, it doesn't take too long. What I would tend to do is to just export this video out as an actual video, which you can then import into any of your projects. If you need to change the text for each introduction, again, it's relatively easy. Just save this project like you would any other project. And then when you open DaVinci Resolve, you would just open up your title project, which I've got here. The first few bits of text won't change because in my case it's what up and then Mr. Alex Tech or Alex. So it's just this intro we would change. Let's say we're doing a video on transitions instead. I can just change that. I'll go to deliver. I'll add to my render queue and then I start the render and you'll see that will render out really, really quickly. Done. That took two seconds. If I right click, open the file location, it'll open up the folder with the MP4 that I've just created. And then if I create my new project in DaVinci Resolve, I can then import that video straight into there and add that to my timeline. Now, the cool thing with doing it like that means that in your next project, you can import it as a video. And then let's just say I get my actual footage after my introduction. I'm just gonna use a triangle left. We'll do the same thing. We'll just change the east in and out. And now I've got our intro. We just flip straight into our actual footage. And that's it. I think it looks wicked, but let me know what you think down in the comment below. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any other comments or feedback, again, put them down in the comments below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more DaVinci Resolve tech and some other random stuff, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Whee.